So with this tip I thought I'd take you through how to set up the mobile device emulator that ships with Visual Studio 2008 and Visual Studio 2005 so that you can eventually use it to do some mobile uh, demos with Microsoft Dynamics AX. So I have on this machine Microsoft Dynamics AX set up. I've got my Outlook set up and connected to my corporate network. Um, what I also have installed on, on here of course is the Visual Studio 2005-2008. Uh, in this particular case I've also downloaded the Windows Mobile 6 SDK because it gives you the Windows Mobile 6 device emulations and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but essentially once you've installed Visual Studio 2008 there is if you take the complete sort of install and does install the device emulator and uh, the other thing that I have installed on this machine is a virtual PC um, so that you actually install the virtual networking components that the uh, mobile device emulator can use to actually connect to the network because you'll need that to do the synchronization. So if I browse it to Windows Explorer and if I go and look at the program files what you'll find is the mobile device emulator under program files so mobile device emulator so in this particular case I've added a shortcut to my desktop for example now you can also get to it by opening a, a Visual Studio um, so if I go into Visual Studio and I just start up Visual Studio 2008 for example you'll see that it's available directly from the tools menu up here now I'm going to start it just simply from the shortcuts in Windows Explorer so program files uh, mobile device emulator version 1 so if I start this up, what you'll see is a range of the different devices that you can choose. Now I, in this particular case, have the Windows Mobile 6 uh, SDK installed, so you can do a search on uh, Microsoft.com and you can download the Windows Mobile 6 emulation uh, devices. So I'm going to start one of these up. Uh, for example, I'm going to start up the professional emulator in this particular case. Now it's simply a matter of going connect then the device emulator will actually start up the Windows Mobile device. So this is the Windows Mobile device started up. Now to actually get it connected to the network there's a couple of things that you'll probably want to do and you can read the documentation but that's essentially what this tip is about to give you some quick starts on how to actually connect that up. So if I go up to the file menu here I can actually choose configure now in configure I can choose the network tab and this allows me to connect a network so I can choose the network card um, that I've got in my machine to actually connect out on the network now what I'll also do is go and put the device in the cra cradle so if I go to the device emulator I can actually click on this and say create uh, connect that to the cradle which means that you know it's essentially docking the device so in this particular case um, I've got my device and I essentially I'm emulating that it's connected to the network via the the cradle now what I can do is um, set up the synchronization on the device so if I go start what you'll see is you can go into programs and of course in programs I can go to active sync here now this will give you the initial setup so if I go to my setup here I can type in the the address for my device now you'll have to check on your network in my particular case I know the machine that's got um, Outlook set up here because this is essentially looking for where do I synchronize to my Outlook um, and in this particular case this is where my exchange server is set up now in this case um, I don't have SSL so I'm going to turn that off I can simply go next in the wizard now I'm going to type in my username in this particular case I'm logging on as Nancy and I can put in the domain here and I'm going to save the password so I can simply go next now I can check what I'm going to synchronize so contacts calendar email tasks for example and then I can simply go finish so you'll see that it'll start up the synchronization so hopefully 
once once the network on the connection is set up and once I'm actually cradled it you'll see for example it's actually synchronized my email and I get an email from the administrator here for example so I can uh, dismiss that so the synchronization is stopped um, I can go and check for example if in my uh, contacts um, I've got one contact here um, directly synchronized so this is the device actually synchronized so that's the end of the tip. It's a quick tip on how to use the device emulator and actually how to do the basic setup. We'll use that in some demos later with Microsoft Dynamics AX.